Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome to Kingdoms and Castle, a game that's currently in beta. Surprise, surprise, it's not a game I'm doing in alpha, am I right? Um, this is a really cool city builder uh, management game, which I know you guys love me doing, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I mean, look at the graphics, look at the clouds. Wait, is it reacting to my... The clouds are reacting to my cursor. I can literally move the clouds out of the way, that's crazy. Um, it's got a really cool art style to it, um, and uh, we're going to get right in here. Uh, choose a region for your kingdom, so we have the threats. Uh, I kind of want to go for this summon one. Um, uh, oh, look at the birds flying, it's so cool. Uh, long lovely summers, short and mild winters, less raiders and dragons. However, the hard one is a harsh land, but a wise ruler can succeed. Short hot summers. Long brutal winters, more raiders and dragon. That's not even out yet, so never mind. Uh, but that's definitely I do like harder versions of the game. So we're going to be going into summer here, and oh, we get given a map. Oh, I mean, look at it! It looks so fantastic. Oh my goodness! And then we can change it to get a new one. It just looks, it just looks so incredibly well done, doesn't it? Is it's a fantastic game. Okay, little islands on that one, but sort of like one giant crescent island here. Let's change it one more time, see what we get. Yeah, I'm feeling that's good. Let's accept this map. Okay, and choose your banner. We don't have any other banners, um, other than the red, or the blue line and the orange line. Let's go blue, because I like blue. And name your kingdom. Bountopia. No, you know what? We're going to do a throwback here. Quagsilon. Oh. Oh. Never mind, one second. So it seems that whenever I try to, as soon as I click S, it brings me into the game, um, which is a bit strange, but I found out you can type the name of your kingdom up there to rename it, so that's kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, we're going back to Quagsilon. Okay, so what do we want to build? It doesn't really walk you through anything, does it? But uh, I do believe that if we click, oh, it just shows how it's barren. Okay, so, unpopulated land. We need to find somewhere to put our main castle. And I kind of want to keep it away from the fertile land. You can see the fertile land is more green, and then the barren land is, like, more uh, yellow, or less green, I guess, would make sense. Uh, so I kind of want to put my castle here, uh, so we're not taking up as much barren land. Uh, so if we go to castle... Then we need to build a keep. Your fur, uh, your home and courts. Consult with advisors here. Um, can we rotate? Ah, uh, no. Okay, so yeah, R rotates. Also zooms out. <laughs> oh, and the scroll wheel does it as well. But I can no longer zoom in and out. Okay, F zooms in. <laughs> so a little bit janky. Um, yeah, scroll wheel. Okay. <laughs> A <laughs> little bit janky, uh, but I guess it's something which they've, they've got to work out. Let's place our keep down there. And you can see that we have some little guys in there. Uh, they are going to be doing the work and building this up. Fantastic. So we have five people, two are idle, and we have no beds. So, ah, here we are. Your home and court. Consult with advisors here. Okay, advisors. So we can see our agricultural vote. Good day, sire. We'll need farms first to feed our workers. Uh, good day, sire. Let's begin growing our kingdom with some roads, then houses. Good day, sire. You have literally nothing to tell me. Okay. Um, right, so let's try getting some farms in. Shame we can't currently see where the farms are. Uh, because there's, like, no more grass. It's all snow. Barren, barren. Very fertile, fertile. Okay, ah, there we go. Okay, so let's place in some uh, some farms. I feel like this is a good place for farms, so uh, if we go to food, uh, we can get the farm, but you can see we can't put our farms down yet because it's too far away from our roads. So we go to town down here, or not, get rid of that, then go to town, then go to road, you can see where our current city actually is. Uh, so let's drag this, oh, must be adjacent to keep. Okay, so you can't drag. You have to click them all in. That's fine. That's fine. We can manage that. Okay, and then will you let me put it in while it's growing? Ah, you will. Cool. So there's actually a very fertile section there. I think what I want to do 
is put an orchard there, except we need 15 wood, never mind. Uh, so can we go to industry? Yeah, so we can grab a forester. No, we can't. Okay, right, looks like we're going to have to tell people to chop things down manually. Uh, so let's chop down some of these uh, wooden bits here, these trees, and they will get to doing that. And we have iron available to mine in there and unusable stone. So we can build a quarry uh, later on, I think, which is going to be good. What do you say? You say nothing. <laughs> okay, I thought you had, like, new news for me. Advisors, military. Let's begin growing our kingdom's rows and houses. We need farms first to... Yeah, I know that, dude. I know that. Okay, so they will bring all of the resources back to the keep. And then once they're here... Okay, so plus two wood down there. And so that should be, yeah, 14, 26, getting lots of wood. Fantastic. So where were the two very fertile bits? Right there. So let's grab an orchard. See, we can place it in now. Produces food, can't be flooded. So let's put that down there. Okay, insufficient resources. For what? Oh, no, happiness, 25. Peasants currently homeless. Okay. So we should probably get some home for people, uh, homes for people. So let's go into town here, uh, and we can build a hovel. Cost five wood. We've got plenty of wood. So let's start building some uh, some hovels. <laughs> okay, let's just put like some there. Does it s tell me how many um, people or how many how people it can house? No, it doesn't. I'm also going to want to build a well, but I need stone for it. Uh, oh, right mouse click does that. That's good to know. Okay. Uh, can I find stone available to quarry? Okay, so I think what I'm going to have to do is go to industry here and start working towards a quarry. Cost 15 wood. Okay. So it looks like we still need to get some more wood. So let's start chopping this down again. And we can build a forester to uh, automate the wood chopping process, which is what I want to do. Uh, but for now, it's going quite well. Oh, we're about to get our first house. And how many beds are we going to get? Okay. Does it show progress? Oh, it builders one out of three. Finishing up. So kind of like banished. A little bit. Okay, happiness is going up, so that's good. I don't know why, but... There we go. Beds. Five. Oh, okay. So, head of household one. Base happiness 50. Road access. Wants access to a well. Has a neighbor. And has food in pantry and charcoal. Okay, so we got gold here, charcoal, iron, and a blacksmith to make tools. Oh, a blacksmith. Sounds good. Okay, but we're getting wood, I hope. Actually, where are our wood guys? Is this game kind of like, um... Oh, waiting for five wood. So, okay, so again, similar to Banish. They'll only build it once they have the resources, but not like another brick in the mall. Well, they'll build it when they don't have the resources. We have our food down here, build farms or or orchards, store in gra gra granaries, not granaries, is it granaries? Yeah, I don't know what, what, what it is. Uh, not fully staffed, 16 out of 32 a year. That's not a lot of food, is it? We get a good fertility bonus, which is nice. Uh, but we do need to get a granary, uh, which I don't see there. Is it going to be, oh, it'll be under food, won't it? Uh, small granary, 15 and 5. So we definitely need to build a quarry. Okay. By the way, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue this series for you guys. Uh, let me know if you want to see a little bit more on it. Um, a lot of people visit our kingdom and saw none fit to stay. Can we make life a little more pleasant for our peasant? Maybe. I mean, we've got 15 beds, so I don't know what people would want. Um, oh, okay. So we can't see why they're unhappy. They probably want a well, uh, but I need to save up for a uh, quarry here. 15 wood, uh, we've currently got 10. That's okay, because they're chopping more trees down, which is fantastic. Let's get them to chop down lots of trees. So that we can get a mine. Okay, so there's iron in there. I don't know if these, um, like, resources deplete over time. Or if uh, they sort of, like, act as an infinite generator. I only actually saw one video on this game. Let's speed up time a little bit. And I was just instantly like, I need to get this. I need to get this game. Okay, bring that wood to my castle, please, sir. Thank you kindly. The uh, scroll wheel is inverted. Can I flip that round? I don't think I can. Never mind. 
That's fine. Return. Okay. My lord, people visited them. Oh, again? We need people to visit. Okay, what time? Does it tell me what the time is? Hmm. No, it just says that it's year four. I guess you just kind of guess by the fact that it's now snowing, so it's probably winter. Oh, hey, look. You've got food. Is that cake? I don't think it's cake. That'd be awesome if it was cake. Still haven't finished chopping. Oh, they're, obviously they're berries, aren't they? Whoa, and then once you zoomed in, it's like really, really sensitive with the WASD keys. So, click and drag, I guess. Okay, time for year five. Okay. Uh, food is alright. Wouldn't mind uh, some more wood, though. Um, are you going to chop this down anytime soon? <laughs> Where are all of our people? There's, there's a dude there just chilling. Can I click on you? Peter has bad teeth. Good for Peter. Um, what about you? Wonders if ghosts are real. Oh, and they've even got like... Oh, he's an agriculture apprentice. That's kind of cool. Wonders if ghosts are real. Wait, that's Peter as well? Where's... We've got two guys called Peter. That's fantastic. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, Brandon Medina. Terrified of catching the plague. Okay. Uh, so we still haven't got enough people. Probably shouldn't have built these houses yet, but doesn't matter. Waiting for someone to chop down these stupid trees. Have we got enough people working here yet? We do. Three out of three. And then one guy's just chilling over here, not doing anything. No one's chopping trees. Is it too far away, do you think? Let's try building a road um, off this way. And seeing if they do anything about that. How about that? Hmm? Not gonna do anything? You're just gonna chill out, grab your berries, and you guys are gonna do nothing, huh? Uh, plus 32 food. That's good. <laughs> okay, okay, what are you doing? Recently stepped in mud. Are you going to the orchard? You are. It seems very, very bizarre and backwards. Oh, wait, no, you're only going to gather the stuff um, that they took off the trees. Okay. Oh, we've now got extra people, though. Three people visited, but only two found a satisfactory home and decided to serve you. Good for them. Now chop down some trees, please. <laughs> wait, where did my wood go? Or build a forester. Maybe I'm going to build a forester because this is taking too much time. I need five stone for that, though. Oh, thank goodness. He's chopping down trees. But we're probably not going to get enough wood. Okay, two wood from that tree. Is it each individual tree on the tile that gives you wood? Because that would be awesome. Let's go a little bit faster, please. I believe it is. That's great. Okay. It's now raining, which is great for uh, food production, I'm sure. Um... And does that mean now that I can go to industry and build a quarry? I can. It must be near usable stone, which is like over here. Wow, look at that lightning. And the lightning's gone. <laughs> okay, so it has to attach there. Um, okay, that's fine. Let's build it there and see what happens. We've got nine people now, which is fantastic. Two more people have joined, thank goodness. Okay. Build is three out of five, waiting for the wood. So they've got to deliver the wood here first. Oh, what do you want now? Uh, city. Sire, the peasants are mostly fine, but we can do better. Try examining a house to see how to improve our peasants' condition. Okay. Has no charcoal. Too far away or none available. Uh, sire, we grow more food than we can store. Rats eat the excess. We need more granaries. I'm getting there, dude. Like, seriously, chill. I've got no stone at the moment. <laughs> So this looks like it's going to be our little agricultural area, but I don't care if we could, we've got more food than we can store. That's a good thing, isn't it? Right? Okay, are you guys building? No, I don't care. Oh, yeah, you are working. Fantastic. Outputs 12 stone a year. That's not so fantastic. Maybe we can get some more quarries up in here. But I kind of don't want to waste this fertile land on quarries. Um, can I add one there? I don't have enough wood. <laughs> Can I get a forester? Uh, 15 wood and 5 stone. Because if we could get a forester, that would be awesome. I also wonder, if we go to uh, road... What's a, 
Oh, a pier. That's kind of cool. Um, too far away from our road. That's fine. Whatever. Um, no. Okay. Uh, click on road. Wonder what it would look like if we put a road like around here and then like that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Quaint. Interesting. No, bring bring back the road. Probably really, really oh insufficient because it actually costs wood. Oh, it costs wood to make a road, of course. Well, that's fine then, because I'm just going to get you guys to come out here and chop some wood. Because unlike in, um, what's it called? Freaking Banished, there's like no danger to you guys being out here and chopping the wood. But I mean, just look at how charming and cute the graphics are. I mean, it's adorable. It really is. It's such a fantastic looking game. Anyway, this was the first episode. I don't know if I'm going to continue this. I probably will if you guys are interested uh, by it. But let me know in the comment section below if you'd like me to continue this or not. And I will see you all next time, maybe, potentially, maybe not, for another episode of Kingdoms and Castles. Hope you guys enjoy, and we will maybe see you in the next one. Can I still pop the clouds? No. Kind of. It kind of looks like I am, but never mind. Thanks once, once again, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.